Hello, Virgo. Get ready to do your reading. Let's tap in. Virgo, you happy about something? I feel like you could be celebrating that something could be over. Yeah, a lot of happiness here about you making the right choices. You could be hanging out, having fun, or if you're not hanging out or having fun, maybe you could just be celebrating amongst yourself, or maybe you just could be in this very cheerful energy. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, protect me as I give the Virgo these messages. Um, send back any and all negative energy here. This could be someone inviting you out to spend time with them, or yeah, somebody possibly lost a child or lost a pregnancy. Or there could have been news about a pregnancy, that something here about somebody losing a pregnancy, my condolences, or a miscarriage here. We have a thief. Somebody's also trying to steal someone's house, or a thief is trying to scam someone out of a home, or maybe this is like um, a realtor or something like that that's trying to scam you, a Virgo, out of a home, or whatever this is. Um, We have a scammer here. So maybe your realtor could be a scammer or I don't know, maybe you, I don't know who the fuck this is that's a scammer. But something here is feeling like home stability, foundation, or emotional bond, living condition, feeling comfortable, security, buying a house, stay home. Virgo. We have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Energy, or Gemini, or an Aquarius. We have the Fool. In reverse, we have the Nine of Swords. The thief is worried or they're guilty. Whoever this is that's trying to steal your peace of mind or steal your happiness away from you, this person is guilty. It could be a Gemini. Okay, maybe you could have found out that this person's trying to steal something from you, so maybe you need to make something more secure. I feel like this could be the reason why someone wants to come and this person wants to come and reconcile with you or. Maybe you have a childhood home, okay, or something here. It's like bring back, brings back a lot of childhood memories here as well. A, a home does something here. A house brings back a lot of childhood memories. This could be a home, yeah. I feel like this house could be old, or maybe you could be buying a house. But Virgo, I'm picking up some something here brings back childhood memories or something that's very familiar. This could be like a, a home to you. Um, something here is a home to you. Something here about childhood as well or the past. Okay. Anyway, what's the Queen of Swords? The Four of Pentacles. Maybe somebody's saying, Virgo, you need to save your money or worry about saving here. The Queen of Swords could be saying that. Or maybe um, the Queen of Swords is possibly telling you to control like your money or something here when it has to do with like security money here somebody here could be giving you like some good advice as well it could be the queen of swords okay this person could be like directly communicating with you or maybe somebody here has their hand out they want money but i feel like someone here could be like possessive or stingy they're not wanting to give anything queen of swords for pentacles we have the knight of swords okay and somebody's like rushing towards you fast it could be a gemini or this is a libra that's like attacking you or they want you to have a scarce mindset. Yeah. So I feel like this this Libra could have been like um out or I don't know. But I see the Nine of Swords as somebody literally attacking someone that's holding back and not bothering anyone. Give me the Nine of Swords. It's like somebody sending like shots or, or whatever and you make the right choices. Yeah, the Two of Wands, the Ten of Swords. This is like someone feels like convicted and bad mouthing you. They like, no, I'm making the right decision with bad mouthing. So this is like their perspective, okay? It's a Libra here or a Gemini that feels good about themselves for betraying you or talking shit about you behind your back or laughing or whatever. Something's ending in their life, though. And they're confused as to why something here is ending because here you go, Virgo. I feel like you are pretty much unbothered or you're in this energy where it's like you don't bother anybody. Somebody just want to be a fucking dick. Yeah, and they want to try to bat my dick. This person's like justifying every energy, like um, every reason why they're 
like trying to like plan to like betray you or badmouth you or even try to curse you here. It's like they like, oh okay, no, this is a good this is what I'm what I'm doing is good. What's the knight of swords? And I feel like you could be holding back. Whoever this is, they have a broke mentality, a broke mindset. What's the knight of swords? What's the knight of swords? And they could be hanging out with their friends, like, oh yeah, this is what we're gonna do to Virgo. The two of pentacles, look. Robbing Peter to pay Paul, or this person's overwhelmed with this attack. It's like they attack you, and then they're disorganized, or they're so overcommitted to make it, making it seem like you lose, making it to the point so where you would lose, or you would feel imbalanced, or you're overcommitted, or you're overworking yourself. Yeah, so we have the strength and the devil. Maybe somebody's holding back from this karmic energy, or maybe you're holding back, okay? You're holding back from this. Uh, somebody's holding back from some type of addiction as well. Um, codependency, lust. They're holding back their lust, or they're holding back from temptation. Like, man, like, I would do some devilish shit to you, but I'm not even going to do it. I'm way stronger than that. Like, I'm stronger than you, devil, whoever you are. Like, maybe you could be like, nah, I'm stronger than you. Whoever this is, they're coming out as a devil energy, or they are the devil, but they're trying to... Make it seem like, I don't know, man. The devil coming out again, bro. I can't make this up. Somebody's very toxic. And it's like, they're trying to, this This could be this energy doing like dark magic. They can't manage this no more. This is a karmic energy. It could be a Gemini or a Libra. But they're coming up in an upright. All right. Somebody here made, somebody took a risk to speak something or invited to spend, waiting for a call or message, an important message needs to be heard, sending a message, unexpected news, needing to know the results because somebody was very reckless. They took a risk to do something or send some type of message or they spoke something here. They took a risk and now like, I don't know, they, they took a risk, look, to run a smear campaign about you. Now look at them. The tables is turning in your favor still. What's the page of swords? This is someone that's very incompetent. It's like someone spoke too soon. Now they could be going through legal issues or they're getting bad news about some type of deception or mind games or whatever this is. What's the page of swords and the fool? Seven of wands. I'm trying to tell you a backfire. Can't make this up. Leo energy. It's like somebody tried to talk so much shit about you and then they're not even knowing that you're protected. Okay, by Archangel Michael, you're just protected, period, from these defensive, careless ass individuals here, Virgo. Your your home is protected as well. Your foundation is protected, your stability is protected, your reputation is protected. Um, there is some type of completion here happening. What's the seven of wands, page of swords? I don't know, like Yeah, the world. This could be someone here like um this could be a troll. I'm I'm so surprised I didn't see the five of wands. And so I feel like somebody here is mad because the emperor wants. Okay. But anyway, we have the world card. This could be people trying to attack you on your online platform. And that part kind of resonates. All right. Because there's always people trying to attack me on my online platform. It's like, just get used to it. You know, Berg. That's just what happens. You know what I mean? This could be people like really, really want to like, you could be having to stand your ground. And ignore these motherfuckers because they're lying. This could be a lot of people mad at you because they're reckless, they're foolish, and they're dumb. So, they're confused. A lot of delusional people confused about how you take care of yourself with the Nine of Pentacles. It's none of your business how Virgo takes care of themselves. Mind your fucking business. We have the Seven of Wands in the world. Like, you're protected from, from the world or from these people trying to run a smear campaign on you. And it's like, it's just one of you. And here come these energies. Like, it's just like, why do these energies keep trying to come for you, Virgo? Like, what is it about you? Okay. It could be over a fucking man. Because I've seen the King of Cups. The King of Cups possibly wants to resurrect something. They want another chance. A Pisces, a Scorpio, or whoever this is that wants to support you and be generous towards you. So you know what happens, right? People like to get in their little weak ass feelings. Like it's your fault, the reason why a man is either ghosting them, leaving them, not fucking with them like that anymore. It's your fault. What's the world, Seven of Wands and the Page of Swords? Why are these energies gossiping and running a smear campaign? And it's like they got the message to stop or to not make this foolish, take this foolish risk here, or they're going to be slowed down. I can't make this up. The Five of Swords. Look at this. 
the five of swords and the knight of pentacles here then we have your intuition your intuition already told you that these energies was haters or in competition with Child, you. Child, if you a reader, there's other readers that's in competition with you. There's other readers that's trying to slow you down. Because I feel like you could be determined to move forward here in a chariot. Like, there's other readers that's like, for some of you, you, you know who I'm talking. You just moved. You could be getting a new car, a new home, and everything is like working out or it's in the up and up for you. It's like these energies feel like you don't deserve to be blessed or you don't deserve to have a house or you don't deserve to be the nine of pentacles. You don't deserve, but I feel like you do. You deserve everything that the most high is about to bestow you with because you make the right choices. You're not out here trying to slow anybody down because you a hating ass bitch or you feel inferior to other people or you feel like, oh my God, they're going to lose or I'm not going to be seen. No, you're not. You're just focused on your own. When the Nine of Pentacles comes out, that's usually someone here that's focused on their own. They're not paying nobody else attention. It's kind of like selfish with your time, your energy, and your money. The Nine of Pentacles is. So I feel like these energies, while they're trying to attack you, like, I mean, they need to just give it up. I feel like, you, yeah, you don't have no armor on. Everybody else is armored up. You out here fighting back with these energies, and they got to go and armor up and try to protect themselves before they come with you with that rah-rah shit. So what we going to do is we going to take that energy, we going to return it back to your fuck ass. Seven of Wands, because y'all be on some weird shit. Seven of Wands, we got Leo, the world. We have Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Aquarius here. This could be a fixed sign or fixed energy here that feels like, oh, I believe this about you. So this is, I'm stuck with believing this about you. This can't be you, Virgo. You're a mutable sign. This is a fixed energy that's like, oh, once I have my mindset about who you are or wh whoever someone done told or uh, about you, lied about you, then this is their mindset about you. So say like if an energy like lied to someone about you and there's a fixed energy, they already had a mind made up about who you are anyway because deep down they're jealous. Deep down they're mad because you're powerful. Deep down, yeah, you can call judgment on motherfuckers. And I'm not talking about that damn Virgo that's going around calling judgment on people. You don't have the power, bitch. You just jealous as fuck. Dinosaurs. So these energies is mad because they can't steal what's rightfully yours. Yeah, the seven of cups, they're confused, they're mad, or they're daydreaming about something. Slowing you down or whatever, it's never going to happen. You bitches are going to be slowed down. What's this nine? I know it's early and I'm on 10. It's 9.30 and I'm on 10, Virgo. Because it's just like, people be saying like, I'm not going to go there. The seven of cups, somebody's confused or they're like either baffled they're like, wait, how did, how did you know that I was trying to steal your energy? How did you know that I was trying to be take something from you or take your house? How did you know that? Seven of Cups. I thought I dressed it up by coming in with the offer. What's the Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords? The Seven of Pentacles. How did you know that I was trying to like take your investments or have you to work without paying you? How did you know that? I wanted you to work for free, ass bitch. How did you know, Virgo? We have the Nine of Pentacles in the... um the lovers so there could be a lover that wants another chance this is somebody new and somebody's jealous because i feel like somebody wants to work together with you and they want to team up and collaborate with you virgo and i don't know why this energy is pissed and mad i don't know but we have the seven of pentacles in reverse somebody's confused like how did you know that i was coming in to waste your time it's like somebody wanted to, wanted you to play stupid like oh give up all your investments or work without reward and you're supposed to just sit there and, and, and take it. Like, after I come and use you all up, take all your investments, waste your time, disorganize you, cause you chaos here, and then um, not put any time or any work into being with you or or whatever this is. This is an energy that's like, wait a minute. Some of y'all, y'all the queen of pentacles, nine of pentacles. You self-made and you got it on your own. What's the seven of pentacles, seven of cups? We have the five of cups. Somebody's lost. They're grieving a loss or they're grieving something here. They tried to steal something and they, they're grieving a loss. I feel like whoever this is that was trying to steal from you a thief, then they end up losing. Look at this. Look at the hate surrounded between this, this spiritual union. 
Somebody's trying to slow down a spiritual union between you and someone. We have Taurus. We have Pisces energy. We have um, Virgo energy. Somebody's trying to step into your spiritual union and slow you down. I feel like y'all are moving. Y'all are moving forward in life, Virgo. And there is someone here that could be hating on your spiritual union. If you are in union already, but it's like... Somebody is mad because you're not going anywhere or you're stuck with this person. Not saying that it's stuck, but I feel like you don't want to go anywhere. Yeah, I feel like you respect someone. And there could be other energies trying to get in the middle of your connection with this high priestess. Some of y'all could be with the high priestess, somebody that's a tarot reader, that's intuitive. Okay, this is a divine feminine. This is a spiritual union. And it ain't going nowhere. This shit is stuck, like literally, like in a good way. But then you have energies in here that could be trying to like play mind games or like this is someone here that hates, I don't know, they could be in competition here like with other spiritualists for some reason. Let's slow them down or let's steal their work or whatever this is. We have the justice to the high priestess, period. If you guys are high priestesses, justice is going in your favor or something is going to be made fair and balanced or somebody has a contract with the high priestess here to ruin people's lives. That's what I'm picking up. Somebody here has a contract. Look, I can't make this up. Somebody here has a contract, a legal binding agreement to go and hate on other high priestesses. Cause them to like move slow, making it seem like they're delusional or they're, they're going through some type of mental illness or whatever this is. This is a contract that somebody has. They're trying to make spiritualists look stupid, like we're dumb, like we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. And then in the end, they end up losing. What's the five of cups? I can't make this up, man. What's the five of cups? Ten of swords. And in the end, somebody gets betrayed and they get like the, the own sword that they tried to stab you and they ended up falling on their own sword. Or they don't even know that the per they was trying to betray you and whoever they sent to betray you betrayed them. Ten of Swords is in their back. Betrayals, endings, crisis, something here is ending abruptly. Ten of Swords, Gemini, Energy, Scorpio. We got Taurus. We got, um, yeah, Scorpio. Damn. The Death and the Ten of Swords. Flatline, what's the Death, Ten of Swords? I hope somebody here didn't... What's the Ten of Swords and the Death card? Oh my God, Virgo. Um, somebody is grieving. This could be the loss of a family member. Somebody possibly, um, I really don't like talking about death. If we have the death, the five of cups, the ten of swords, the four, somebody, this could be a dead body. This could be someone here going away or passing away or something here. The tables is turning. We have the will of fortune, the ten of pentacles. It's, something here is coming out about someone's fortune, success that they try to manipulate and take. We have... Oh, my God. What is all these? Scorpio, Libra, Gemini. I don't know. Somebody's grieving right now. This could be a, 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 a the Ten of Cups. This could be somebody that you have kids with. You possibly got kids with this person. Maybe they're passing away or somebody here is in a coffin or they're praying like, I don't know, Berg. Somebody that you got over, man. Give me somebody's passing away, man. I'm just gonna say that. This is what I'm the death, the ten of swords, and the four of swords. Somebody's either just gonna flatline or they just gonna go. And I feel like this could be a home that was possibly have left to you. Maybe this is like an older because I did see like the hermit. So this could be someone that's older, wise, that's like what's the death? Um, four of swords, the queen of pentacles. Capricorn energy. Who's this queen of pentacles? Don't have to be a cap. Who's the queen of pentacles? Four of cups. I feel like this queen of pentacles missed an opportunity. Death and again. I'm seeing a death again. A justice in the hierophant. So sometimes something here like is happening. The higher ups has control over this. Six of Cups. I feel like somebody failed to do the right thing. They didn't want to do the right thing. They was actually quite stubborn. What's the Six of Cups? You get what you want anyway, Virgo. Yeah, the the um the Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. These energies, this could be like past 
energies that has lost their way or somebody here is resigning and leaving a home or they left this home to you but they tried to take this home from you something here belongs to you they try to keep you out of something and attack you but they got offended because you called them out yeah i'm getting somebody here is like coming out of isolation all right maybe you may have to come out of isolation virgo or you could be getting out or you being um yeah what's this you have the page of wands good news somebody here is paying for something so virgo somebody here is just going to come and give you something they're going to come and give you a gift you something or you're going to be getting some type of payout somebody here the investigation is over with in regards to this house and I feel like you're about to be getting a huge payout here with the Page of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. This could be an investigation that happened in, in the past or somebody left you something in the past. I feel like this could have been given to you as a child or I don't know. But Virgo, I feel like something here is being given to you. This could be something very generous coming towards you. Okay. This could have been something from literally like. So, yeah, this is supposed to have been given to you back when you were a child. You were supposed to have been got this news. It could have been like six years ago. Yeah, this was supposed to have been given to you like six years ago. And I feel like somebody wanted to come and get in the way and take your shit. What's the page of one six of pentacles, man? You were supposed to have been had this. What's the page of one six of pentacles? Somebody here is just like, really? Yeah, I feel like the sun, you're exposing someone. You could be exposing a queen of cups. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Yeah, somebody disappointing here because you're exposing them. Or um, this could be a Leo Cancer, cause this could be a mother figure, or it could be a Gemini Cancer. You could be one of the two. This is someone here, like, or this this Queen of Cups is going to be exposed in Cancer season. Okay. Ooh, we might hear this bitch. What's the Queen of Cups with the sun? Or whatever this is, if you are the Queen of Cups, this is going to bring happiness to you. Queen of Cups and the sun. Do we have the death? Oh, okay. I feel like something isn't over between this person. They're resisting some type of change. And I feel like this is why you could be exposing whoever this is. Or they're holding on. Or this person is very stagnant. They're fearing some type of change. This is like negative patterns on repeat. They don't want to transform. Or they don't want to transition. They don't want to let go of a cycle that's already dead and over with. They keep holding on to something here. Very possessive. This could be a Scorpio. Okay, that you could be exposing. What's the year yeah, that could have been trying to attack you with the seven of wands, the nine of wands, the tower? And then they get exposed or this will of fortune of yours gets exposed and it's coming right directly to you. We have the eight of wands. Something is traveling to you very fast. And I feel like these other energies are very much worried about it because you're going to get up and you're going to you're going to be inspired to go and impulsively take action to go and get what's rightfully yours and what fucking belongs to you. And that's just. Um, Mary had about five little lambs, bitch. Simple. Some of you could be vegan or fruitarian, or maybe you need to be vegan or fruitarian, or you need to incorporate more fruits and veggies into your diet. I know that I need to. We have a Libra woman. I told you, you pull the rug from under them. Whoever this Libra woman is, this person could be like talking to you or attacking you with words indirectly, or they're trying to put something back or put something on you. No, we're going to return that right back to you, little bit. Whoever that is that's trying to put something on you. This person is overwhelmed. They're, they're not even balanced in their life. It's like the more they talk shit about you or try to do it, then the more that this is all over a distorted mask on a fake emperor. All of this is over a fake emperor. This Libra is attack, attacking you over a fake emperor who's rigid, stubborn, who's controlling, and who's careless. I feel like you pull the rug. The truth is the karmics let me have my way, and this is why. Now the karmics is being fake spiritualist. This is hilarious. Something could be significant. Yeah, you could be um on um, March. You could be a Aries Pisces, uh, a Pisces Aries cusper. Something about six a.m., six p.m. We have short term change, and they'll be back to their old ways. An Aries man, yeah. So Aries man, Aries man changes. 
for a short, short term and then they go back to their old ways. This person does not, it's like they change for a little bit. They try to get into like alignment and then once they do get into alignment and they have you right where they want you, they go right back into their old narcissistic ways here. This person changes like the fucking wind. What's the messages here for Virgo? And let's end this reading. We have North Node reading. Okay, so I feel like my spirit guys want me to do North Node readings. Want you to be a part of the fuck shack. Dirty Mike and the boys. So these people dirty. We have a Scorpio. And that's getting their ass whooped. Or whoever this is, watching, stalking, spying, and planning on you. It could be a Scorpio. Archangel Michael is stepping in to whoop this Scorpio's ass. A karmic Scorpio, not nobody high vibrational, okay? Or this could be someone here that's running off a false narrative about you. Yeah, they being sassy because they... <laughs> Let me stop. Yeah, a Scorpio woman. I can't make this up. We have a hotel, casino... They cheating. Somebody's cheating on someone with a, a a hotel or a casino here at a hotel. And I don't know why they blaming you. We have Scorpio woman and we have a divine masculine. And a baby shower in reverse. I feel like there's a karmic that's mad because a masculine doesn't want to talk bad about you anymore. Yeah, because I feel like this person is healing or you a healer. Okay. Daddy vibes, single, self-sufficient, and a boss, but that's in reverse. Somebody's mad because a masculine don't want to talk bad about you. Like, no, I'm not. I have someone watching you. They try to hire someone to unalive you at your home. You see what I'm saying, bird? That's what I be talking about. And these images wonder why they're going through what they're going through. 4 a.m. between the hours of 4 a.m., 4 p.m., November. They could have set this up to happen in November. A Sagittarius stalking, peeping Tom. Sagittarius man. A karmic fire sign female and a Scorpio male receiving instant karma right along with this Gemini woman that's trying to sell or exploit your pics, videos on a dark web. Like, what is this, bro? We have a past lover, Aries Leo Sagittarius that's not even to the karmic, into the karmic sexually. This is what they want to tell you. Whatever karmic that they chose or they're with, they're not even into them sexually. And they're tired of people bringing up your name. I feel like you have a divine masculine come, coming or whoever this divine masculine is. Don't be doing no love spells on your divine feminine. Take accountability for doing love spells and stop. There's peons. A peon karmic wants you to be jealous of them so bad. Pop your shit, divine feminine, divine masculine. You've been hum humble long enough. And you got a false ass toy flame that's in your energy. A karmic water sign female, they're going through delays. It's a Scorpio. Somebody also wants to spoil you and shower you with gifts. So I hope these messages resonate with you. Virgo, like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos. And until next time, Bird, bye.